Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com and today I've got something awesome and brand new to show you guys. I just got these in the mail a few days ago. I've waited to open them for you guys. This is a brand new type of 18650 cell straight out of Japan. It's got new technology in it that makes it different than any other 18650s out there and it's got incredible specifications. They're in fact unbelievable. So I wanted to get these and test them out and show you guys. All right, let's open these up. Now these are NCR 18650 AU cells. They're similar to the NCA technology, which is lithium, nickel, cobalt, uh, aluminum oxide, if I'm not mistaken. The difference in these cells is that they replace the aluminum with pure elemental gold and a few other trace elements. And that's what allows these cells to have such higher performance. Because as you know, gold is a highly conductive metal. It's one of the, the best conductors that there are. So here are these cells. Uh, let's see, I guess this is probably uh, the data sheet. Yeah, so here's the data sheet, uh, NCR 18650AUs. And the crazy thing here is these cells are rated for uh, a minimum of 4700, but typical 4900 milliamp hours. So these are by far the highest capacity cells on the market. Let's check these out. Um, from what I heard, these are going to have a uh, gold colored heat shrink, which I guess would go with the uh, the gold in them, and yep, that's uh, it's a little uh, it's a little showy for me, a little flashy, but that's uh, that's pretty neat. Let's check out the spec sheet again here. Uh, 4,700 milliamp hour minimum, 4,900 uh, typical, 85 grams. You know, I can already tell that these are pretty heavy cells. Um, it's probably the gold that's in there because gold is obviously a very dense metal. Um, but I do want to check that out. So let's measure that and let's test all of the claims here and see if these cells actually stack up to be what they're claimed to be. All right, so I've got my scale here. All right, now I'm going to tear this out here, make sure it's actually at zero. All right, let's see how much these cells weigh. The spec sheet said 85, and yep, it's looking like it's actually 85 grams. That's, that's awesome. These are just really heavy cells. You know, I can really feel that, that 85 grams there. That's just, you know, a heavy cell. And that's probably where all that weight is coming from, from that gold that's in there, making that just one of the most, actually probably the most dense 18650 cell that I've ever seen. So that's probably where that extra capacity is coming from. But next, I want to test the actual capacity of these cells and make sure that they actually stack up to what the company claims. All right, so now I've got my uh, Opus tester here. Uh, this is the standard capacity tester that pretty much everyone uses. And let's go ahead and set up one of these cells to test here. We'll just use the first slot. 3.53 is the voltage. That's a good storage voltage. Let's do a charge test. So this will charge it and then discharge it. And let's do... Uh, one amp that's the maximum current that these opus testers will do and this if it's actually 4900 milliamp hours this is going to take a long time at one amp probably about uh, you know 10 hours to dis or sorry, five hours to discharge it and another five hours to charge it back up so i'm going to leave this for a while and we'll see how it goes all right now that took a little longer than i thought it would i ended up just letting it run overnight but the reason it took so long is that we got some amazing capacity out of this cell. Now I'll bring you in for the close-up so you can see here. Okay, so we didn't get the full 4,900 milliamp hours, but we still got 4,771 milliamp hours out of this cell, which is really amazing performance. Um, you know, these cells, they, they say they're rated for 4,900. Every cell manufacturer exaggerates, so I'm not surprised we didn't get the full 4,900, but still 4,771 milliamp hours. Uh, that's, you know, that's better than any other 18650 cell on the market, so that's already really impressive. Now another cool thing about these uh, 18650 AU cells is that because of the trace amount of elemental gold in these cells and a few of the other uh, trace elements that are in here, they actually undergo an endothermic reaction instead of an exothermic reaction during charging and discharging. What that basically means is that when you charge and discharge these, instead of heating up, they're going to actually cool down which is pretty neat. So that is the next thing I'm going to test. And to do that, first I'm going to spot weld on some leads so we can plug these cells into some type of larger load. All right, so I've got my discharge leads spot welded onto the uh, Golden Lightning cell here. And now I've got a halogen bulb here that I'm going to use to discharge uh, the cell. Now this bulb is meant for 12 volts, so it's not going to light up super bright, but it will give us a load. 
So let's go ahead and plug this in, and then I'll measure the uh, temperature while it's discharging, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're lighting up there, and we're starting to discharge. Let's see how it goes. All right, now it's only been a few minutes, but we're already down to about 16C from a starting temperature of about, uh, of about 20C. So we're already seeing the temperature dropping in the cell during the discharge. That is crazy. Let's go, uh, let's go back and check the bulb. Oh, yeah, the bulb's at 260C. All right, so we're definitely getting a good discharge here. Wow, and our cell is getting even colder. It's down to 13C now. It's about 21C in the room. Man, that's, that's just amazing. That's unbelievable. Look at that. That is so cool. Wow, it's gotten down to 10C or 11C. That is crazy. Oh, man. And you can really feel how cold that is. That is nuts. You can really feel how cold that is. All right, that was just crazy. I cannot believe how well that worked. I've never seen an 18650 cool down while discharging. I can still feel how cool it is even after it's done discharging. It's starting to warm up a little now, but it's still like cooler than the, just the environmental temperature here. So that was really neat. All right, now there's one last test that I want to do on these cells, and that is a sort of torture test to discharge them. Now they're rated at 40 amps discharge per cell, which is just nuts. So I want to put that on something big and test it. So I figure what's something I can do to really torture test these cells? And I decided that, well, my e-bike can pull almost 40 amps, so I'm going to see if I can run my entire e-bike off of just this one battery cell. So let's see if it works. All right, now I wanted this to be a real torture test, so I figured I'd do some off-roading, or at least as much off-roading as my city e-bike with road tires can do. It's also a little muddy out here, so we'll see how this goes. But first things first, let's connect our gold lightning battery cell here. All right. Powered on. I'm a little bit skeptical, but let's see. Let's see what this battery can do. All right. Here goes nothing. Man, I cannot believe how well that worked. Whew, check that out, the battery is ice cold. Guess these golden lightning cells really are everything that they're cracked up to be. Well, that'll do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, last thing, time to announce the winner of the giveaway for my last video, and the winner is... Snowy Owl. So congratulations, Snowy Owl. Uh, let me know in a private message where to send your free book. And anyone else who wants to win one of my books, either a copy of the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, DIY Lithium Batteries, or my latest book, DIY Solar Power, all you have to do to win one is put a comment below this video, anything you want to say, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and happy April Fool's Day.